Hello, in this video we're going to talk about quadratic reciprocity and Euler's criterion, which are two things that appear in math competitions when we are working with uh, solving number theory questions. So first, what is a quadratic residue? We say an integer a is a quadratic residue mod n if there is an integer x for which x squared is congruent to a mod n. Otherwise, we say a is a quadratic non-residue. There is a symbol that we use in order to distinguish quadratic residues and quadratic non-residues. And that's called the Legendre symbol. If uh, p is a prime and n is an integer, n over p is 0 if p divides n. It is negative 1 if n is a quadratic non-residue mod p. And it is 1 if n is a quadratic residue mod p and p does not divide n. So I'm going to state these two theorems and then we will uh, we will do an example. For every odd prime p and an integer a, a to the power of p minus 1 over 2 is a over p mod p. So this is one way of evaluating a over p, the Legendre symbol. However, this is not the best way of evaluating the Legendre symbol. A better way would be to use the quadratic reciprocity. Let p and q be two distinct odd primes, then p over q and q over p can be related. So p over q is negative 1 to the power of p minus 1 over 2 times q minus 1 over 2 times q over p. And 2 over p is negative 1 to the power of p squared minus 1 over 8. Okay, so let me do an example to see how we can use this quadratic reciprocity or Euler's criterion. So here's the example I want to do. Find all primes p for which the congruence x squared is congruent to 3 mod p has a solution x in z. Okay, because in the quadratic reciprocity theorem, we need the p and q to be odd, I'm going to have to check p equals 2 separately. For p equals 2, x equals 1 is a solution. Now, since p and q are distinct, I will have to check p equals 3 also separately. For p equals 3, x equals 0 is a solution, because 0 squared is in fact 3 mod 3. So let's now assume that p is not 2 and not 3 either. Okay, so suppose p is greater than 3. x squared congruent to 3 mod p has a solution if and only if 3 over p is 1. The Legendre symbol is 1. x squared congruent to 3 mod p has a solution if and only if 3 is a quadratic residue. By quadratic reciprocity, 3 over p is going to be negative 1 to the power of 3 minus 1 over 2 times p minus 1 over 2 times p over 3. So in other words, we need to figure out whether p is a quadratic residue or not. So this is negative 1 to the power of p minus 1 over 2 and then p over 3. We need to figure out whether p is a quadratic residue mod 3. Let's find all quadratic residues mod 3. If you take x mod 3, x is either 1, negative 1, or 0. If you square that, x squared becomes 1 or 0 mod 3. So that tells us p over 3 is 1 if p is 1 mod 3 and it is negative 1 if p is negative 1 mod 3 because the only quadratic residues mod 3 are 1 and 0. p cannot be 0 mod 3 because p is more than 3 therefore p has to be 1. Now let's determine negative 1 to the power of p minus 1 over 2. Negative 1 to the power of p minus 1 over 2 is going to be 1 if p is 1 mod 4, negative 1 if p is negative 1 mod 4. So let's now 
determine when the product is 1 and when the product is negative 1. The product of these two, negative 1 to the power of p minus 1 over 2 times p over 3 is 1 if and only if both of them are 1 or both of them are negative 1. Negative 1 to the power of p minus 1 over 2 is equal to p over 3. So they are either both 1 or they are both negative 1. And this is the case if either we have the first case if p is 1 mod 3 and 1 mod 4 which means p is 1 mod 12 or p is negative 1 mod 3 and negative 1 mod 4 which is to say p is negative 1 mod 12. Combining this with what we found earlier we note that x squared congruent to 3 mod p has a solution if and only if p is 2, 3 or p is plus minus 1 mod 12. So this would be our final answer. If you like this video make sure to subscribe to the channel where you can find more videos like this either discussing topics that appear in math competitions or discussing problems in math competitions. So I will post a couple of videos like this on the screen and I will see you in one of the other videos.